Hello YouTube, welcome back to the gym vlog once again. This is Monday, start of week five for weightlifting. So, another A day, which is squat, bench, deadlift, dips. Gonna have a really good one today. Um, don't really have much to talk about. Right before I, or like started the, I don't know, I don't remember the day. Like right at the beginning of this, or right before the beginning of this nine week thing, I went to get a haircut and I got it very, very short. And I'm sure you can go back to the first of these gym episodes and uh, see how different my hair is. It's kind of gotten back to what my hair like normally is. Maybe still a little bit short, but um, whoops. <laughs> it tends to get a bit crazy when it's this kind of length, um, especially when I wear headphones and stuff, so. Uh, I'm having a hair day right now. Okay, first lift of the week. We're gonna do bench because, well, it was already set up for bench, so that's how I'm deciding to do it. 55 on each side, once again. And uh, yeah, it's pretty empty today, so I will probably, actually not gonna use these since it's empty, just in case. Uh, don't use clips if you're lifting alone, because then, you know, you can't really bail out. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully I won't need them. Cross my fingers. I don't think I will, but, uh, you know, better to just be safe, as always. Let's try out this angle. I don't think I've used this one before. It's, uh, hard to keep coming up with new ones. Ooh, good crack in the back. Yeah, that was heavy. Well, this is a very precarious position for the camera. It's basically like just holding on to uh, the top of the rack. <laughs> I really hope it doesn't fall. I don't think it will. I'll have to be careful when I'm putting this back up. Set two without the one. Let's make it happen. Okay, that wasn't that much of a struggle. Um, it was just slow. Okay, I'm gonna grab a spotter for the third set. So you'll either see that or you'll see me do start with squats. <laughs> Okay, I think that last one is a good example of knowing your limits because could I have tried the third set without a spotter and just, you know, bailed? Yeah, but, you know, I kind of know, I'm starting to know at least how my body reacts to certain weight, um, especially on bench. I almost never fail on the first two sets, but I always do on the third, even if I don't get all the way to five. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm gonna go lighter. Because way too much back movement there. I'm gonna go lighter. So I took off 10 pounds total and gotta see how that feels. First set always feels the worst, but I felt really unstable there. And I don't think it was my footwork. So going a bit lighter, I'm gonna crank my music now and see if that helps me out a bit. And if it does, I'll go for six. too sure what's going on here because I've done that weight in the past and uh, wasn't struggling with my back at all so I'm gonna go down more onto just a plate on each side because you know I don't want to risk hurting my lower back again I'm thinking since it hurt so much last week maybe something did happen to it so gonna stick to lightweight here and then um I might do like a pyramid set on the deadlift going heavier yeah it's annoying I'm not sure why I don't feel good on my stability but I just don't so yeah whatever we'll just do lightweight third set as many as I can do yeah my balance just feels super off but uh, this is pretty lighter, so just get it done. Yeah, this feels so light <laughs> compared to what I just had on. <laughs> I just did a calf raise. <laughs> clicking almost in my hip. I don't want to risk injuring myself. I've never struggled that much on squat. I don't know what's going on. Let's start light on deadlift next and then uh, just see how that feels for my back.
on most days where I'm lifting and even when I'm struggling a lot, I usually call those good lifts. Um, even if I'm not able to do, you know, all my goals and reps. And today was a bad lift. And I think really the first one that was a bad lift, even last week when I skipped a day, my weight numbers were pretty good for what I was lifting. But today just something's off. And I have a few suspicions as to what it might be. Um, one, I know I keep mentioning my sleep schedule and stuff, um, but uh, last night it was very hard for me to get to sleep. I don't know why. I don't think it's insomnia or something. It's probably just too much screen time or something right before bed, if I had to guess. Um, might possibly need to get some melatonin or something. Number two, um, I just don't think I felt that like pumped up, ready to go today. I mean, I was in the mood to lift. I was focusing on, you know, what I was doing. I didn't really feel like I had distractions, but I just wasn't like, you know, pumped up, ready to put up some good numbers. And I think part of the reason for that is usually when I do my cardio warm up, I'm watching, again, Sam Solik, because I like watching his videos. He, he's entertaining to me. Um, and I think that I watched something else and it wasn't gym related at all. And so I think that kind of like didn't hurt, but like hindered me getting in the lifting mindset a bit. I don't know, but uh, just wasn't like, you know, in the zone today, so to speak. I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on itself. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to go a bit easier. Those squats felt really bad on my lower back with all that movement I was doing. So wanted to try and, you know, not hurt myself because my hips were hurting you know, when I was doing the elliptical yesterday, when I was doing a run for the past two days, uh, when I was doing weightlifting last. So I think I may have possibly tweaked something. I used to go to the chiropractor. I might possibly book up an appointment soon, get a slight adjustment, see if that helps at all. I don't know. Um, cause it doesn't hurt, but it just doesn't feel as stable as it has been, which is very strange. So not sure what's up with that, but I'm going to go get a good meal, get a good protein drink. I'm wondering if I should drink protein on my off days. Cause I normally only drink it after weightlifting, but maybe I should start drinking it after, you know, my other days as well. You know, just keep the protein count up. I don't know. That's it for me. Subscribe to following the gym vlog. Leave a comment down below. I read every single one and I've gotten a few super nice ones lately. So thank you for the nice comments. Yes, yet again. And uh, leave a like if you like this video and I will see you guys as always tomorrow for the first run of week five, which is not looking forward to it. I'll see you guys. Have a good one.